Hi, this video is going to be on what other tips you should be aware of for when you're standing. Last video we talked about slumping and there's other things that we need to be aware of and why other things can be causing pain. So we're going to talk about the why and um, then what you can do. And I know that I just wanted to share a story of how when I was treating someone that had was it her main complaint was having a lot of pain when right. she was standing and she was pregnant. And so she worked as a cashier and she was actually able to get a chair and she was able to alternate. So sometimes the answers are, are simple. Simple, yeah. And sometimes they're not, but we kind of have to think outside of the box. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with the why. So, so why, can stand, why can standing cause us pain? And that's because we, uh, for, for one, if our muscles and, and joints, if we're standing not in a good um, alignment, if we're standing kind of uh, discombobulated, we're putting okay. stress on the muscles and the joints and we can be even uh, stretching things out more on one side or strengthening them on one side and causing stress on the joints. Right. And so that stress can actually feed into inflammation that we already have because maybe we've had an injury or something, or it can set up a perfect storm of problems mm -hmm. that maybe you all also have a knee problem and it can just kind of get all jumbled up together. Okay. So that's kind of the why. And then of course, if we're standing too long, our muscles aren't working like we talked about in the other videos and the right. muscles help pump our blood around. So that's, that's why any position for too long is kind of not that great. Okay, so that's the why. What can we do about it? Dr. Deb. <laughs> so what we can do about it. First, we need to be aware of our pelvis in space, okay? So our pelvis moves like a, a, a bowl this way and this way. And so it's like, uh, this is called an anterior tilt. And then backwards, tucking it under, is called a posterior tilt. So you're kind of doing this and then you're doing that. And what, um, so that's normal. And then our pelvis also moves side to side. Mm -hmm. And that's a lateral tilt. So being aware of what's going on because that's like home base and then right. everything else is stacked on top yeah. of it. So if you are standing, just think about, try it. If you're standing really excessively arched like that, it seems it's putting a lot of stress right here. Right. And that happens a lot, you know, if, if you have a lot of weakness in your stomach muscles, because that the stomach muscles was helped like that. So if you're pregnant, you have weakness in your stomach muscles. It goes without saying. And then after you have a baby, you have weakness for sure. So those are areas where we have to kind of work during the day to try to make sure where is our pelvis in space. Yeah. And that actually helps strengthen. Right. That makes so much that, sense. And then you're actually working on strengthen during the day, but you're not if you're not aware of the yeah. keys. And your, your pelvis is actually in outer space. <laughs> Okay. So, okay so what happens when you stand like this with your hips really tucked like that? What, what, what are you feeling? I feel a stretch in my abs and then I feel a, like a stretch back here. Right. And then do you feel anything at your knees? I would say an added pressure. An added pressure in the back. Right. In right. the back. And a lot of people have... Um, what we call hyperextended knees. They stand like this all the time yeah. and they're snapped back and they're hyperextended. Right. And so that is not a good thing over time mm -hmm. for your knees. And so it's all kind of like dominoes. So if you're aware of where your pelvis is, it'll help with your knees. Now you, you might not be able to move your pelvis very much if your knees are snapped back. Mm -hmm. So you got to soften the knees in order to let your pelvis move. Um, so they shouldn't be completely locked. Your, they knees, should, your right? knees should not be completely locked. When they are locked, you're not using your quads and then your quads become weak and then you can develop knee problems. <laughs> we could become a mess real quick. We can become a mess. Well, not actually, probably over time. Yeah. So that's looking at our pelvis this way. Now looking at our pelvis this way, you know, what do you think the problem is there? That I'm not a good dancer. Um, Oh, that you could lean too much on one side. Yeah, lean too much on one side. What about with the baby? Oh, the baby? 
And she does it. I do how much And I have a, like, I, a 40, I tell you. I have a 45 pound baby now. So. I, I'm always telling you, you're always carrying her on the right side. I do. And so she doesn't have any pain now, but she's setting up a sequelae of things that can actually not be a good thing um, when it all comes said and done for whatever reason. I'm getting in trouble again. So she's developing weakness into this hip joint and uh, uh, tightness on this side. So if that's you, try to be aware of that. Um, so then moving down, so we talked about our hips, so, and what, where our hips are can also affect our head. And we know we want our head over the shoulder. So moving down, we talked about the knees. And the last thing is your feet. Okay. So what you have on your feet also affects your posture. So, you know, high heels. Yeah. You know, you're just putting yourself forward and that just completely uh, changes things. Now we all like our high heels, yeah. right? Yeah. But you have to be smart and choose when you're going to wear them and if you're going to be on your feet a lot. Right. So wearing a good supportive shoe is very helpful for your posture, especially if you are having pain. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with, with patients who don't wear shoes uh, in the house. And that is really important, especially if you're trying to get out of some type right. of pain. Um, and yeah, I noticed know. that. I yeah, I've been telling you that. Because right? I have a lot of hardwood floors. And then after the, my baby was born, I was carrying her around with that added weight on hardwood floor. And like my feet and barefoot. were, yeah, and barefoot, because that's what I, but I noticed the pain. Or and, socks, same thing. Yeah. So having like some good foam slippers or tennis shoes is what you'd recommend? Well, foam slippers isn't going to cut it because okay. what we want to do is we want to support the arch because the arch, you know, your feet have a lot of muscles and ligaments in it, but when during pregnancy and, and after the baby, you still have those hormones circulating in you mm -hmm. and you probably have extra weight on you too. And all that kind of flattens that arch. Many women feel that, and we're going to actually talk about that in the next video. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> So we're, we're right in. rewind. We don't want to keep you too long. So anyway, in our next video, we're, with the video, we're going to be talking about feet, more about feet. <laughs>